that's looking at the A1 and A2 armature terminals that drives output to the motor. You can see the SCR firing waveforms there. There's 40.7 volts DC on the armature right now. I'll slow that down a little bit. And we'll stop the motor. Here's looking at the unloaded field DC voltage. This is the F minus and F plus terminals. Now this is no field hooked up to it. rectified AC coming in, rectified to DC. Evening all. It's gotten dark outside. <laughs> In a little bit, I got to cook me some dinner. Get off to the bed so I can get up and go back to work. That <laughs> work never goes away, does it? Here are the hookups, the connections to make that fin core. DC motor control model 2600 run. Here's the speed pot right here on one, two, and three. The wings of the potentiometer. I think I had a 10k, 5k potentiometer there, thereabouts. Five or 10k. The wings of the potentiometer are on pins one and three, and the wiper of the potentiometer 
is on pin 2 of that terminal board. Down here is the run switch. This enables the drive to run that motor. So we set the speed of the motor with this potentiometer and we start and stop it with this switch right here on terminals 8 and 9. Let's go down and look at the power connections. Here are the power connections. This is the power terminal board. L1 and L2 is the line in. And on our drive, VAC in is 220 volts AC single phase. Always check your data plate to make sure that you apply the correct voltage to your drive. Down here is the armature connections for the DC motor, A1 and A2. Here's our DC motor right there. The first motor that we ran on that drive, it was a permanent magnet DC motor. So we didn't need a field connection. The magnets within that DC motor took the place of the field connection, the field winding. The second motor that we ran, the green motor, it had a field. Not permanent magnet, but a field. So we had to make the field connections. So the motor connects to A1 and A2 and the field of that green motor connects to F plus and F minus. If you don't connect that field, if you leave that field disconnected and you try to run that motor with field disconnected, that motor will run away. It'll go full bore. So always connect your field. Folks, thank you very much for watching this video of us running that FinCore DC motor control. And I'm I'm really grateful that y'all come over to see it. I really am. We'll see you next time.